Skateboarding in the Olympics has been a very controversial subject within the world of skateboarding, but not so much anywhere else. Now I know you all love watching the skateboarding on the channel, so I'm going to split this video into three parts. I'm gonna cover, first of all, the initial complaints in the comments that you see in any video talking about the Olympics. The positive and negative I believe it has for skateboarding, and then I will talk about my personal opinion on how I feel about the whole thing. And in between each section, I will put a skate session. You know what, let's just start off with skateboarding, actually. video I'm going to read the comments on is USA Skateboarding National Team The Journey Begins and it's about all the Olympic skaters and what they're going through now. Now you would think it's about the training process and this and that and it kind of is but it has people like working out like they're real athletes. It has people doing photo shoots. It's mostly photo shoots. You see right off the bat that the video is actually brought to the people by TikTok and the barracks. A lot of people were upset because they were saying dude TikTok is the last thing that skateboarding is which isn't true. There's a lot of skateboarders on TikTok. Of course, somebody says this doesn't look right and it doesn't feel right. People say Jake Phelps is up there making moves trying to stop skating from going mainstream, basically saying that all the tragedies happening in the world, uh, that's Jake Phelps doing to, you know, prevent the Olympics from happening. Jake Phelps even said he would rather die than see skateboarding in the Olympics. He was the previous chief editor of Thrasher magazine before he passed recently, but his word is not more biblical than any other skateboarder. If you're someone out there who is skating on a consistent basis, then your opinion is as important as anyone else in skateboarding because you're a skater. It's just weird because people would reference these other people saying like, well, they wouldn't like it, so it's not a good thing, but that's, it's always just an opinion. Some people are upset that they didn't pick the right people. So whack, RIP skateboarding. So the opinions are all over the place, but the most liked comments are the ones that are attacking the Olympics, saying that this isn't skateboarding, this feels wrong, and a lot of it has no context. It's just people being like, what's going on? You know, like feeling like it's this weird thing. But I have to point out the positive and negatives of this thing, um, of course, after the skate session. <laughs> are obvious. It's a lot more exposure for skateboarding overall and it can bring a lot more people into skateboarding and honestly that right there might be reason enough to do anything. I actually think a negative of it is the idea of nations coming together to compete against one another. Skateboarding prides itself in being very accommodating to accepting all genders and ethnicities and roles without ever thinking of them as separate. If you can do the trick, if you can come and bring the skateboarding or bring the hype or bring something to the session, then that's all you need. Nothing else matters. But now that we have this competitive aspect to something that kind of puts nation against nation, I actually think that's a very unhealthy thing overall. The negative that I think a lot of people see is that it gives a false idea of what skateboarding is to the rest of the world. Amongst skateboarders, it's typically a very creative outlet rather than football and soccer, where in the sport you kind of have this set of rules, you abide by those rules, and then you excel by how good you can compete within the confines of those rules. Skateboarding is the opposite. You get more respect when you can kind of figure out how to bend all the realities of skateboarding set 
for us. So all the new people who will view skateboarding through the Olympics will see it as something that is limited. And hopefully through that they get into skating and it opens up their mind and they realize there's a lot more potential and that it's actually a much greater thing than they thought. But a lot of skaters don't like that that will be the perception of skateboarding to the world. It's obviously another chance as well to give skateboarders an opportunity to make money. There will be more sponsors involved to kind of delegate to skateboarders. Unfortunately within skateboarding though a lot of the money is monopolized within just a few brands like Nike, Adidas, brands that aren't even skateboarding originally kind of have all the money in it now. And if you're not getting sponsored by those three to five brands, then you're not gonna really make that much money in skating. I'm saying no matter how hard you work as a skateboarder, no matter how good you get, if you don't match their marketing, then you're never gonna get on that team. And that's not, you know, fair, I guess. So how do I personally feel about all this? As someone who's been skateboarding since I was 10 years old, 20 years, professionally for three years now, how do I feel about this whole thing? Well, I'll let you know after this session. Okay, here we go. I don't like the atmosphere of what skateboarding in the Olympics brings to me. I don't like the fact that it's represented as a sport. I don't like competition against each other in skateboarding at all. I don't even like skate contests, like watching them or anything. Somebody asked me the other day why I don't watch Street League. It's because I grew up watching skate videos. I grew up with a completely different mindset of what skateboarding was than competition. So when people ask me about these skate park competition skaters, they're as foreign to me as knowing professional snowboarders. I just don't even know who they are. I consider it a different sport altogether. That being said, I did grow up skating contests. And it's funny because I actually competed against a lot of the skaters who were gonna be in the Olympics and I would do better than them at these contests. Just a little brag for no reason. I'm trying to say that I saw the value in the contest before. It was more exposure, it was a way for the world to see who you were, and then it was so disconnected from what I assumed skateboarding was that I just had to stop doing them altogether. I never felt good in them, or even like winning, eh, winning felt pretty good. The video itself was a lot of reason of why it didn't feel right, especially being like, yeah dude, America, we're gonna go in there and see what we can do. It's like, that's just never been skating. But I'm also pretty indifferent, and if someone were to ask, would you rather this happen or not happen, I would rather this happen. I would actually rather this be in the Olympics because I think the exposure alone will be very healthy for skateboarding. And I think bringing anyone into skateboarding and knowing how much I love this world is gonna be very fun for the individual and a beautiful thing for people to see. I think skateboarding in the Olympics is a sacrifice worth being made for the exposure of skateboarding. I know I didn't cover a lot of questions and ideas, so if you have any questions about this, ask me down below and I will get to it, especially if you are in the no tiff squad and you're one of the first people commenting, that's when I'm, it's easiest for me to engage because my video just goes up and I'm like, what's up? Also, I got a new camera if you hadn't noticed, but you know what, my next video will be more of a vlog, it'll be me out and about skateboarding, a little bit, you know, more of how I do and then I'll talk about all the stuff that's going on in my life because it's a lot uh, and a new camera is one of those things. So humans, I'll see you next time every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel. Follow my Instagram at John Hill if you want to keep up with me in real time. I'm always uploading when I'm going out and about and when I'm doing skate tricks, they're usually on my story before they're actually in these YouTube videos. So follow at John Hill. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Let's have a conversation and I'll see you next time. Humans, take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.